In this session, we're going to take a look at a revolutionary new method of color separation for the screen printing industry. This is similar to simulated process, but yet entirely different. You know, very often in industry, you have people that will start a certain process or style of work, and that will evolve in the industry, and that's what everybody will start to look at as the industry standard. But if you look outside the box, you can see that there are options. And in setting up this style of color separation, that's what we've done. We've looked outside the box and we've gone to an HSB color model. That's hue, saturation, and brightness. HSB color works by taking hues of color and then applying brightness and saturation or lightness and darkness to them. Now, working with this in color separations, what we do is we take hues of color and then we blend or mix those together so that we get the look of multiple different colors working with just a few colors and then applying white and black to it or saturation and brightness. The amazing part is we can do this directly in Corel Draw. We don't need Adobe Photoshop. We don't need Corel Photo Paint. We don't need any other applications. It's all done directly in Draw. And for me, the benefit of that is when the separations are done, working with my different place and color separations is as easy as working with objects in Corel Draw. And then I can also take those separations, add vector text to them or what have you. And I can separate anything from a simple spot color job all the way up to the highest of the high end for printing on darks. The other side of the coin here is the fact that we're doing this in draw is really revolutionary because throughout the history of working with Corel Draw, everybody said we can't do this with Corel Draw. And even I bought into some of that throughout the years. And the fact is, the ability to do this has been available in Corel Draw for over a decade now. Go ahead and take a look at these separations and we'll see what happens when we process these. Now I've got this set up in my own recorded macro because I don't want to go through the steps and I don't have the time to go through the steps in this video. We will get to some tutorials on how to do this and work with this on the advancedtshirts.com website here in the very near future. But I'm going to go to my macro manager and I'm going to go over here and just double click and we'll go ahead and process our color separations. Now this is all being done directly in Corel Draw. We're not going out to another application. This is all being done using new techniques in Corel Draw, but with tools that have been in the application, as I said, for over a decade. So it'll take about a minute to process, and we're going through and we're just pulling out the different colors here and the black and the white for our hue and excuse me, saturation and brightness and our hues. And it'll take just another minute to process here. And normally I'd pause while the system's processing, but I don't want to pause here because I don't want anybody to think that I'm not actually doing this in Corel Draw. I think this is going to really blow some people's minds because, as I said, throughout the history of working in the screen printing industry, no one's ever imagined that you could do something like this in Corel Draw. And I'll say we've probably got about another 10 seconds to go here. When this finishes, there actually won't be anything on screen because all of my separations will be built out into layers and I'll have to go through my object manager. And you can see there's nothing on screen here. But if I go to my object manager, you'll see that you have a bunch of different layers here. And these are our colors. Now here's our original art down here at the bottom. And we can turn that on. Now you notice that down here we've got the blue here. Now if I click off here and I come up here and click on the blue, there's my blue color separations. Now you can see that it pulled a lot of blue compared to if I was working with, let's say, simulated process. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and I'll turn this blue off. And you can see if we went in here and pulled with simulated process, we just pull out pieces of this blue here, typically. But here we've gotten quite a bit of it. We actually got all the blue. And that's where this is really different than working with simulated process. Then what happens is the other colors, such as the cyan, comes and blends into that. And then on top of that, we have our white and our black. So we're able to pull all of these different colors within just a few colors, working with the original art. And as I said, it's all done directly in Corel Draw. And then once these are done, I can work with these separations, just like objects in Draw. If I need to do some adjustments with a tone curve, I can do that, etc. Now let's take a look at how this would handle something like a simple raster graphic. And here we've got a three color design, not nearly as complex or as colorful as the color wheel we just separated. But yet we can separate these also using the same process. I'm going to go ahead and delete page one. And I'll just go ahead and zoom out here. 
you can see that this is definitely pixels. It's all raster. It's got some banding in here. So when you see the banding and the separation, you'll realize that it's not coming from the separation process. It's actually in the graphic. But we can separate something like this very easily working with this process in draw. I'm going to go to my macro manager and I'll just come here and I'll run my script. And then again, it'll take about a minute to process, but you'll see that I'll get a very clean color separation. I'll need to make a few adjustments. When we're working with pixels, it's different than working with vector, but I'll have training on how to do all these adjustments and stuff available on the site also. But really all we need to do is just change some objects, make some tone adjustments, and then we'll have our separation set up literally in a matter of minutes directly in Corel Draw. One of the things you want to realize is that if you're going to be separating like this, you're going to need good quality raster graphics. Typically, if there's text in the design, you're going to want a minimum of 300 dpi. Sometimes you can get away with 200 dpi. But it's like anything else. If it's a really poor quality JPEG image, you'll be able to separate it, but the quality isn't going to be very good because of the quality of the image. So here we are. Finished processing that. I'm going to go to my object manager. Come up here and take a look at our yellow. There's my yellow separation. Come down here and take a look at the red. There's my red. And up here is my black. So I've just set up the foundation for my spot color separations. Now because of the way HSB works, you can see we've got some tints of black in here with this graphic. But we can convert that to a spot color black very easily. I'll just simply go to bitmap mode and I'll select black and white. I'll go with line art, select OK, and that'll get rid of all of that. And this is now a monochrome and I can make it any color that I want. Now I'm not going to convert my yellow or my red to monochrome, but I take this and then just copy it and paste it on a new page. So I'll just hit Control C. I'll go to a new page. I'll select OK. I'll set this up as 13 by 19, which would be our actual fin size. Hit Enter. And then I'll change this to a landscape. And I'll just paste this in. So that would be my black. Go ahead and minimize that. Go back here to my separations and let's get our red. And actually, I have to click on the layer there and we'll turn off this black so we can see that. Select this. One of the important things is you do have to click on the layer to be able to select the, gra the graphic in the layer. I'll hit Control C. I'll go ahead and minimize here and I'll bring this up here and I'll hit Control V and I'll paste that in. I want to take a look at how this was separated because I want to make sure that this is 100% black here. If it's not 100% black or zero gray, then I'm going to get half tones when I put out my color separations and I don't want to do that. Come over here with the eyedropper. I can see that this is accurate. It is zero gray. I'm not going to get half tones. I'm going to get nice solid black when I print my films. Go ahead and hit Control X here and I'll set this up on page two. Insert page after. Control V and there's page two. Now one of the things I can do is because I've got this black set up as a monochrome and hit Control C and I can use that to make sure my job is registered correctly. Just hit Control V, I'll left click to knock out my background color and I'll right click to change my foreground color and there we can see the separations. And you can see these are butted right up against each other, perfect color separations in Corel Draw X6. I'll go ahead and delete that so I know that registration is good there. I'll go ahead and minimize this and I'm going to go back to my color separations. I'm going to come up here and click on my yellow. I'll turn this eye off. Click on yellow. Got that selected. Turn that on. Go ahead here and I'll hit control C. And then I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to go back to my separations. I'll go to page three, insert page after. I'll hit control V, paste that back in. Once again, I want to verify my color. And I can see that here we got our black set up as a gray 12. That's not what I want because I'm going to get halftones if I convert this to halftone dots as opposed to solid yellow color. So I'm going to need to make an adjustment. I'll go ahead and select this. I'm going to go to Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. Now one of the things that I want to be aware of is I don't want to just go in here and start changing color because if I do, I'm going to affect my banding. Let's go ahead and preview this. Now let's lock the preview. And you can see I'm making my banding darker and I'm making this darker. And I think the way this banding is, I really don't want to make that darker. I want to keep that like it is. But I do want to affect the solid black. So what I need to do is change my style, my curve option, to straight. Actually, I'll go ahead and hit reset here. I'm going to change this to straight. And I'm going to come down here into the, let's say, 20 range 
which would be like my 12 or 20 gray area and I'll just drop a node there and then I'm going to come here and drop another node here and I'm just going to pull this down to there okay because I'm only going to affect the lower range of the grayscale I'm not affecting my banding up in here let's as you can see and I'll select OK and let that process and then I'll verify that come and get my eyedropper and now I've got zero gray I won't get any half tones and I didn't destroy my banding so here I've gone through a raster image that previously I would have had to recreate to separate and curl draw or send out to Photoshop but working with the HSB color model I've been able to set this up as separations and draw and then make some raster adjustments to my color separations and I'd be ready to output to half tone and go to press with this design so we can see that we are dealing with an entirely different and new style of color separation that works directly in Corel Draw, and we will get the information out there to the market as soon as possible and of course tutorials and other assets that you can work with to take your screen printing business to the next level in Corel Draw, working with raster color, color separations and being able to now start working with some of the raster effects and raster looks that previously everybody thought we could only do in Adobe Photoshop we can now do very easily in Corel Draw. So go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next video session.